Waldorf Astoria Amsterdam, c'est un hôtel qui a d'abord un emplacement exceptionnel. On est sur l'un des plus beaux canaux de la ville. Vous êtes vraiment dans le centre historique d'Amsterdam. So here we are in a UNESCO listed part of Amsterdam and the hotel is right here. Can you just tell me more about these incredible buildings? Yes, absolutely. Here we have the perfect spot to see our six canal houses. They were built in 1665, so really 17th century canal houses. Obviously there were different owners. Amsterdam was actually the mercantile uh, capital of the world. And traders, uh, merchants, uh, mayors lived in those houses and, and obviously they, they wanted to show their wealth. Vous avez ces façades absolument magnifiques. C'est le regroupement de plusieurs anciennes demeures qui ont été toutes reliées entre elles, ce qui fait un ensemble extrêmement harmonieux et très beau, très élégant au centre d'Amsterdam. You have this feeling uh, you're brought back to the 17th century when you arrive at the hotel. This amazing entry hall with the staircase of Daniel Marot. C'est un hôtel d'une élégance, d'un raffinement assez rare. Vous avez un escalier qui est un escalier dont la rampe date encore très clairement de l'époque. So that's really one of the masterpieces of the hotel. Hein? Absolutely. This is the oldest part of the hotel. Et partout dans l'hôtel, vous allez retrouver comme ça des éléments de l'époque qui ont été préservés, qui ont été remis, je dirais rénovés pour leur redonner tout leur lustre. Here I would like to show you the most precious room of our hotel. It's called the Maura room uh, because the owner of this house uh, wanted to have uh, this precious room. And here you have really the feeling how in the 17th century um, entertainment happened. Nowadays uh, we still use it for intimate weddings but also proposals and there I have to show you something. Can you imagine there's a proposal and the ring is just hidden here. Wow. And that was actually before the owners they decided to whom they show their treasure. So here you would have uh, uh, chinaware, precious chinaware or silverware exposed and um, yeah, if, if they wanted to show it, they just lifted the painting. The wall of Astoria Amsterdam has a very special place in our heart because one of the buildings that the hotel is made up of used to be a Van Loon family residence. So that already establishes a very nice connection between this place and the wall of Astoria Amsterdam. Museum Van Loon is the former residence of the Van Loon family, hence the name of the museum. And it's actually Maurits Van Loon, one of the family descendants, who decided to convert the family residence into a museum for preservation of heritage and the history of Amsterdam. My favorite location is the garden. And what is really nice that we have uh, this peace, this peace and tranquility. We have the Luck, it's one of the biggest gardens in Amsterdam uh, because we have those six canal houses, adjoining canal houses. So you have like uh, the gardens of six houses. Wow. We plant uh, every October more than 10,000 tulips. And then you have here really those beautiful colors as you see. Le jardin est magnifique et vous avez envie d'y être bien, de venir vous promener. C'est une sérénité après une journée dans la ville. C'est un lieu d'un calme absolu et un lieu qui prête à la méditation et au repos. Un des points marquants, évidemment, euh, et qui nous rattache complètement à la Hollande, c'est le chef. 
vous avez ici un très grand chef, un chef hollandais, un chef local et qui a deux étoiles euh, au guide Michelin. So these are the tulip bulbs. These are really beautiful. These are pickled, but these need to pickle for four to five months. Now we put uh, a rillette inside, a duck. Rillette with a little bit of foie gras, duck inside. And then we dip them in uh, apple jelly. C'est une cuisine exceptionnelle et c'est un chef qui est très fier de n'utiliser que des produits locaux. The chef, this wine is for the duck from Gigondas. I think with the intensity of the pomegranate and black olive, but then it's aged. So with the dry aged style of the duck, we have a perfect pairing. 